welcome to a uh, another and probably overdue stream of the Rootmaster build. So today I decided that instead of um, streaming it, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to build it on a uh, video and then I'll post it to my YouTube channel and we'll go from there. So as it stands right now, the last time I talked about the Rootmaster, last time I did anything on the Rootmaster, it was on, I, I thought I was to the, working on the side, which you can't see here. Let me, working just on the sides, doing a whole bunch of screws. And I thought, said that I was going to do this all on a, uh, on videos rather than a stream, not realizing that the packs, I have two packs left with detailed parts for here in the front. So instead, I'm going to do a video on each of those. This is actually pack 100 or stage 100. And here you can see the parts that goes around the window, the trim around the window. And I believe this piece goes across the bottom here. So I'm going to do those on a uh, single video or that on a single video, then do another video for stage 101 in here cameras not used to working this camera at this angle is the already open red screws that for the parts that go on so without further ado let me go ahead and start putting parts on here first thing I got to do is get these parts out of the plastic pack and I may pause the video because I do not edit if I if there's a stop it means I paused the recording and I did not edit the video because I hate editing. It's a pain in my behind. I want you guys to see actually what I'm doing, not what I've made it look like I'm doing. So here's the first part. And that's no, nothing against anybody else. There's the first part. It's going to go actually, got it upside down. It's going to go around these windows like that. And make sure that that is actually the first part that goes on there and it is indeed matter of fact the first thing you do is you put this on here set it on here hopefully it'll stay and then this smaller piece here which I just dropped so let me pause the video well Maybe I won't pause the video because I do not see the pause button. But I just dropped that part on the floor. Fortunately, it is red. I should be able to find it pretty easily. There it is. Pardon my fat head if it gets in the video. And that's what I mean by I don't edit. I will not be cutting that out. But this small piece here, this piece here is going to go right in front and matches up with the three holes in the base there. All of these parts are going to be going into metal so I've got the oil behind the camera. Let me go ahead and get the first screw in there. I've got the wrong size bit in the screwdriver. Let me get a little bit of oil. I'm going to shoot for getting the bottom one in first. Maybe. This could be a little bit tricky. and I'm, This is actually my first video in a long, long time. First pure video. That's not going to work. It looks like there's, there is. There's a slight bend coming out of the package on this piece. See if I can get this piece back off of here. Got it. So let's try this a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the screw through the top hole on both pieces. I'm doing this off camera, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to pop this on here. Of course, my hand is in the way. I can't see through my own hand. And you can't see through it either. So there's the first screw. 
I'm going to get all three screws in before I tighten the first one all the way down. this pushed over and I am putting oil on each screw before I put it in and there's the third one going in so let me go ahead and tighten these all down and you can see this side sticking out a little bit I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, yeah, you should be able to see it. See how it's flapping? This one is not. This one will, is going to line up without any problem, or should. May take a little bit of working with it. I think, actually, these top pieces may have to come loose. But let me tighten that down. And that's the part I was talking, I've been talking about before how that pops out, but I th believe there's a piece that goes across there. Okay, so the right front side, take one of these two strips. Let me double check and make sure that there's, they are different. And I grabbed the one for the left first. Uh -huh. It also says on the back, yeah, it says, so this one here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in camera. It's marked right there. A199M. And it will go on like that. And what it's going to do is it's going to grab a hold of this piece here and seal the whole thing. Like I said before, I'm going to... I'm just looking. It actually has the same slant on both the top and the bottom. I'm going to just start the rest of these pieces as I go and go back and tighten all the screws afterwards because the bottom doesn't look like it's going to pull in right away. So let me put this screw through there, pull that into there, just get it threaded. See if I can push that one, push that popped out. I may actually have to tighten these down to get it to stay. Let me get out the other three screws. Now we're gonna try the screw holes are aligned, fix in place. Okay, maybe I'll. I'll have to see. I'll get all four screws started and then I'll see how it works out. This is a little bit different than what I've done on the bus because I'm sitting here talking to myself. And I don't have anybody chatting or anything else. So like I said, it's a little bit different. It's not bad, it's just different. that that one looks like it's staying a little bit better this one as well let me get the last one set in there or started and we'll go from there think what it is because I'm in studio mode there is no pause on OBS I may switch over to normal mode and see what studio mode does is it lets me switch on the fly with just a touch of a button I hit I can see both 
what I've got up and what I'm planning on having up next and it'll on the fly switch it for me rather than me trying to make my transitions so let me really quick just because take it out of studio mode and there is no interesting there's no pause at all there used to be very interesting because as soon as I stop recording then it uh, goes on to another recording and then I have to would have to merge these I'll have to look later and see because I know there used to be a pause so now for this let me turn the bus around <coughs> break some stuff not really just thump a cup run the bus into the camera <laughs> that's awesome let's see is that that is the correct camera so we'll switch over to here bring this camera up a little bit And now I'm working on this one over here. And I think, did I have, I think I had a screw on the table. Might not be a good thing. Let me keep the screws away from here and I will start with the first one here. This could be a little bit tricky because this one has popped out just a hair because of the bend I pointed out earlier. Sorry if my hand is in the way while I put this screw in. It will fit. it will pull in though and tighten up, which is good. I believe if I remember right, talking to Dave from DS Models and Vintage, there's about 48 billion of these screws eventually. So it's not going to be a big deal if I lose one or two of them. I'm going to go ahead and put this bottom one in and tighten it all the way down. problem is I keep having the bus try and roll away. That should hold. I still have one more screw I need to put in here before I'm done. Forgot to dip it in oil. My lights are actually set up for the other camera. I apologize for the glare that's over top of the bus. My camera that's usually my main camera is turned off completely. Not even turn camera's not even turned on. Okay, so that's got that in there, and then they want me to put three more screws in right over the top of the sign. So let me switch back to the other camera. Oops. This time I'm going to try not to mangle anything on the bench as I move the bus. I will tell you right now, this thing weighs a flipping ton. And I did lose the spare screw that comes in any, every pack. It may be somewhere on the table, might be on the floor. But the next piece that goes on is this one right here. And it should, in theory, pull this piece in. If it doesn't, not a big deal. 
I may have to come back and glue that. So let me get the first screw. Put it through the middle hole on here. I may have this upside down. I do actually. No, I don't. Okay. Almost had it. I'm also trying not to get oil all over the windows while I'm doing this because the windows are plastic and they will soak up that oil, I'm pretty sure. At least a little bit. That does seal it good. That's piece of, the piece of the plastic here that was popping out will get pulled down by these screws going through this strip. Ah, I just found the lost screw. See it right there on, hanging on the uh, screwdriver. That one was on the table when I turned the bus around and the screwdriver grabbed it. So, tighten that. That. Oops, let's not tighten that. Too. Well, that one's tightened like that too. Need to loosen this one up. And here, let me show you what I'm talking about. This two sides of the strip were sticking up. I'll retighten those a little bit, and you know, once it's done. So that's all for Pack 100. Appreciate you stopping by. Like, subscribe. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers and. Uh, Join us. We're on Facebook and on uh, YouTube, and we will talk to you on the next video. Have a good one.